Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a productive weeknight routine. And when I say productive, it doesn't always happen this way, but this afternoon it did and I was able to get a lot done and it made me happy. So here I'm just starting with my Instapot stainless steel. And here is a tip for you. To clean cloudy or stuck on food to, on your stainless steel pot or your Instapot, use just a splash of white vinegar, let it sit. Once you go ahead and rinse it with hot water, it will come nice and clean and shiny again. So that's just a tip that I learned. And I'm just going to finish up these few um, spoons, these wooden spoons that I do not put in the dishwasher. And yeah, so this is just like a typical weeknight um, when I get home from work and there's usually always something to do. So I usually try to do like one to two loads a week so I don't have that much for the weekend. So today I just had a load of towels that I had to fold and put away and I'm going to be starting dinner shortly. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's jump right into it. so hard to breathe cause when you get too close i lose my way and i freeze i wish you knew what power you have over me but now it's so, hard. so i know i've mentioned this before but i love using barkeeper's friend if you guys haven't tried it you really should try it i use it for the tub and the sink and I'm just going to go ahead and scrub out the sink really well and it just leaves it nice and clean and shiny. Maybe you taste different. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. So after I clean the table, I'm just going to go ahead and put on this new table runner that I picked up from TJ Maxx. It's super cute and on each end it has pumpkins and then I found these orange placemats from Dollar Tree as well as that um, pumpkin centerpiece I've had for a few years already. So I have a few different centerpieces for fall so I go ahead and change off like every week. Does anybody else do that? But yeah, I'm always like switching things around and finding new places for it. But yeah, I think it looks cute without being too much. So now I'm gonna go ahead and fold these towels that I have here. Um, it wasn't too bad because I had caught up with the laundry that past weekend. So I'm trying to make things easier on myself for the weeknights so that when I come home from work, I don't have to be stuck with loads of laundry. I'm trying to get it done on the weekend, although it does always pile up, especially when you have kids. But I am trying my best to, you know, like I said, catch up with the laundry. And yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish folding up these towels, and then I will move on to putting dinner in the oven.
So now I'm moving on to my front hallway or entryway and I went ahead and ordered from Amazon a new doormat not thinking that I can't put it outside it's one of those flannel and then the doormat goes on top of it that I've seen a lot of people have but those people also have a porch with a covering so that is out of the question for me but I actually put it inside when you walk in the door so it worked out perfectly and it's so pretty so I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum really well and then mop and then I'll go ahead and put that new doormat down Getting closer to just being nothing else oh, I'm a sucker for your love So I'm just moving on outside of my front door. I did want to decorate just a little bit for fall. We do decorate for Halloween, but I'm not ready to do that just yet. So I just wanted to put a few pieces out here to give it that cute fall vibe. So after sweeping, I'm just going to go ahead and clean off this little side table. And I bought a mum from Home Depot and that hay bale. And then just a few signs that I will put out. Like I said, just to give it that cute fall vibe. And I also purchased this mat from Home Depot. So yeah, I think it looks really cute. Time is all we need. A bit of truth to face, not that innocent. Now moving on to tonight's dinner, I just made something quick and easy. Some Italian sausage, peppers and onions, and so I made some yellow rice in the Instapot. And I also made a turkey meatloaf for my little guy. So after dinner, we did decide to go to Trader Joe's, look at the line. It actually wasn't too bad. Um, I'm here in New York. I don't know about your state, but they're still only limiting the people that are able to go in at once um, here. So I couldn't really record that much because even though there was still, it's a small store and there's still like a lot of people inside, if that makes sense. But I will show you when I get home everything that I got. So we're just getting back from Trader Joe's and I want to show you guys a little haul of what we got. So we spent about $50 and I think we got a lot of stuff. We usually go there for their frozen stuff because we love it. So we got four of these vegetable fried rice. They are so good. You can make them plain or you can cook a little chicken up and make like a stir fry. Here's just some mixed vegetables. We got some french fries, the kids like those. Sweet potato fries. Some broccoli. Plantain crisps some Alfredo and pasta to go with it. Um, oh, look what I found, this pumpkin body butter. Can't wait to try this. Got some fusilli with vegetable and basil pesto sauce. Some hash browns. We got some organic iced tea. We got some black pepper, like who runs out of black pepper? I do. And some brown rice. This is really good. It comes with three pouches. 
some cereal bars for the kids, some Jojo cookies for Halloween, some chicken broth, hold the cone, they're like mini ice cream cones, and then I just got some pancakes, the silver dollar pancakes for Johnny. And yeah, I think that's it. So we spent about 50 and we got a lot of stuff. Okay friends, so let me know in the comments below, has everyone finished decorating for fall? And have you already started decorating for Halloween? Because I am so ready to start decorating for Halloween. I hope that you like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button. And I will see you again real soon in my next one. Bye.